Thomas is now as happy as can be. He has a branch line all to himself and two coaches and they run up and down his branch. Thomas loves them very much and couldn't imagine his branch without them. Although they could be rather rude and go on about how they didn't belong on a take it or leave it branch. The bigger engines use this to their advantage and tease Thomas immensely, but he would take no notice. Early one morning, Thomas hadn't woken up, and it was nearly time for one of his trains. <sighs> He's late again! <sighs> Better to be left alone than being passed around as he does. If he doesn't know how to work with the push-pull equipment, then he shouldn't try at all. And if we're not going to be clean and maintained properly, then... Thomas, wake up! <sighs> run away. Oh, run away. Goodness me. Come along, come along, we're going to be late. We are only late because you woke up late. But there's no need to be rude. Now, Thomas knew that it was early days and was still in the trial and error period, but the two coaches that the fat director had gotten Thomas were rather unpleasant. Thomas arrived at Ellsbridge and looked towards the sidings to see trucks. Those are bound for Farquhar. Please take them right away. Trucks? You want us to be hauling trucks? It won't be for that long. Besides, if they are what I think they are, they're urgent. Indeed. These vans of produce need to be taken immediately. Right on. Thomas went over to collect the trucks and put them on the back of his train with the coaches sneering and complaining. Once they set off, Thomas wanted to make sure that he wouldn't be late with his driver constantly checking the regulator. Careful Thomas, those vans are jolting around! It's not my fault! Those coaches are bouncing around! Sheesh, all this trouble is they want to work on the main What's wrong with Brad's lines? They want to make me unhappy? Speak to him. I've almost had it up to my cylinder cocks with them. They soon got to Farquhar, and Thomas moved the vans off the train and shortly returned. Right then, I expect you to to not cause any more trouble. Understand? The coaches said nothing as the guard blew his whistle and Thomas reversed down the line.
What on earth? Sudden stop, there's nothing on the line, so I'm not entirely sure. Sorry lads, Signalman was trying to get our attention and I thought something was wrong. So? What was it? We need to take those trucks back to Napa. More trucks. Might have to move Thomas to the other end then. Probably not safe to have him wedged in the middle. Probably best we put the coaches in the platform first. like common stock. Let's pay him out. Yes, by the windmill. Once Thomas had finished shunting the trucks around, he coupled up to the train and was soon on his way. No sooner had they left, however, the two coaches were already keen to get started. The brakes have come on and it wasn't us. Did you put the brakes on? It wasn't us. We thought it was you. Oh, let me guess who it was. You two are a piece of work. I've tried to be kind and fair, but all you've done is thrown it back. If you really were for the main line, then why do you have push-pull equipment? Oh, um, you know that we only got it when we arrived here. We didn't choose to be here. Cruff! <sighs> Fuck control should have given me other coaches. Ones that aren't as arrogant as the big engines. Actually, that's what I should do. Enjoy the mainline, you rotten coaches. I'm gonna get some other ones. Call myself a little bit. Thomas stormed off to sleep somewhere else, leaving the two coaches very surprised. Both began to think. Was making all this fuss over being on a branch line and upsetting a young and eager engine worth it? 
or were they being selfish? 